when you can see so many slim people eat whatever they want and you feel like you're the only person on the planet who just by breathing <laughs> you've gained 20 pounds. Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Now this is the Daily Student YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe now. On this channel we always do shout outs and the lovely shout outs of today's video are these lovely people and if you haven't subscribed to them already, do subscribe to them now. And if you wanna be in a chance of getting a shout out for the next video, all you have to do is give this video a massive thumbs up and follow me on my Instagram channel which is on the screen right now. And DM me once you're done so that I know you have entered for the shout outs. Now in today's video this is one of my favourite videos to ever like film or to like talk to you guys about and that is how I lost 20 pounds in a month and I went from this to this. Now my weight loss videos have been, you guys have loved them, like these have been your favourite videos because it's something that everyone is constantly trying to process, it's their own journey, their own thing to do and the reason why my weight loss journey even began in the first place is because I feel better when I'm healthier. Like when I'm eating and healthy I feel so groggy, I feel so heavy, I feel so, I mean quite literally <laughs> I feel heavy but I feel mentally heavy and I feel not my best self. And this video really goes out to the people who always say I have tried everything and I'm like everything because I know when I had this yo-yoing and oh I don't like yo-yoing at all but it happens yo-yoing happens when your weight goes up and down and up and down and up and down and you're never at your goal juice cleanse the Kylie Jenner cleanse the Kim Kardashian cleanse the tea cleanse this that and the other I felt like everything that what earth had to give me I have put money down and I have invested in dieting I have invested in the health food industry hundreds and hundreds of pounds and nothing is working I had these times where I'd be gaining five pounds then losing it and then gaining 12 pounds losing it again and I was like hold on a minute what is going on when you can see so many slim people eat whatever they want and you feel like you're the only person on the planet who just by breathing <laughs> you've gained 20 pounds I just woke up one morning and I was like right I'm starting today it's game over and today I'm going to give you the fundamental tips that have really helped me through my weight loss journey and a I maintained the weight I started to see results first of all before anything I want you to write your weight loss goal down this is what I did when I first started out having a goal but not setting a realistic date so if you say if I work out today and I haven't lost the weight by tomorrow I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna quit that is the mentality that you need to take grab it here and literally chuck that in the bin because I know the feeling of just done 50 squats in the gym just done 20 star jumps and you think you should be looking in the mirror and feeling slim thick <laughs> that is not how it works I want to lose this much by that much and make it realistic make it attainable because if you go over that Cool. Manifesting that goal throughout the beginning, middle and end of this journey. That is where you're going to really want to start off. Most biggest of my downfalls is picking at food. We all know this. Every time we're in the kitchen, we feel the need to just pick something. Even if it's literally just like a chicken leg sat on the kitchen counter. You know, taking a, a spoonful of pasta. We know you. We know that. And that needs to be stopped right now. Because when you realise that every time you're picking something, oh, it's only a spoon of pasta. How you have calculated how many times you picked the food a and b how much that equated to so no more picking because it really does add up and I think especially at the beginning of your journey you need you need to be like okay let me at least have a month where I'm firm on myself and I'm like right my head is in the game after that you can be a bit more lenient and relaxed about it just give yourself a month where you're like I'm fully in this game and another tip for this is in your kitchen don't have the snacks on the kitchen counter you know those jars that the Kardashians do where they literally stack the biscuits in a jar that is gonna be your worst enemy I'm telling you now anytime you have a snack that is visible yes that time you walked in the kitchen you didn't eat it the visual image stays in your head and subconsciously you're going to be thinking about having that snack whether it's in your dreams and trust me I have dreamt about the snacks that are in my kitchen and then wonder why in three days time I'm eating that snack because you need to have it out of sight out of mind hide away the snacks put them in don't put them in clear packaging if you want to keep the snacks in your house without throwing them away put them in the forest cupboard put them freeze them freeze them so that you can't just grab it has to wait till it defrosts and by the time it defrosts you, you've forgotten about it you don't care anymore not getting the snacks accessible are so important next remember that losing weight is 80% food 
20% exercise. So for all my people who don't like exercising, for all my people who go to the gym, buy your gym membership for a month and you've paid 30, 40 pounds, whether it's $50 in the US and for a month and you go that one week and after that you never go to the gym ever again. I feel you sis, like I I've been there, I've done that thinking, you know what, forget buying a one month gym membership, I'll buy four months in advance because that's how serious I am and that gym instructor will only see me once ever again in his life. <laughs> like, I am so unserious about the gym back in the past so I think it's so important to have a steady routine of activeness but it doesn't mean you have to go to the gym, even if it's at home. So save your money, do it at home. Chloe Ting is my home girl, I am obsessed with her. I feel like if I ever meet her one day, I will literally fangirl. Just Chloe Ting's YouTube free workouts by the way, save your coin. But that girl is gonna really hold you down. My biggest change, the thing that changed the entire game was meal planning. If for any reason I step out of the house and I have no food ready and prepared, I already know if I've left the house at 11 a.m. by 2 p.m. I'm already in McDonald's drive-thru and I wonder how I got there. It's because you're so hungry that you're ready to eat anything and then you will tell yourself, okay, it's fine, I'll start tomorrow again. <laughs> you're gonna have this same repetitive thing and in a month's time you're gonna wonder, why did that diet Go. And it's because you haven't prepared your food. I think this thing where normalizing sugar, normalizing takeaways, normalizing that is weird how it's become such a normal thing because actually eating rice, chicken and vegetables is the normal thing because you're eating what your body can manage. And in fact, overeating food isn't a normal thing because your body can't manage it, if that makes sense. So I think to change my mentality was to normalize the normal foods. So I want you to put yourself as your lock screen on your phone. Now, this might you might be like, why would that tie in with a weight loss journey? Throughout your weight loss journey, Journey, you are gonna need to become your biggest fan. You are trying to achieve greatness for yourself. Health, fitness, well-being, good mentality to feel good. Putting yourself on you as your lock screen is gonna remind yourself that in this time, for the next 31 days, I'm gonna be selfish and it's all about me because that is what it's really about. Listening to a very motivational song every day, and I'm not talking about like a motivational song that you know is talking about world peace and world change, even though that's good, please do that as well. But one of the songs that I'm really loving at the moment is Megan Thee Stallion and Beyonce's remix of Savage. But when you listen to that song, you feel like the biggest, baddest boss in the world. And that is what you really want to manifest because you are. The more you stop thinking about how far you've got to go and think about how well you did right now. Like you have just completed two days of your diet. You need an absolute trophy. You've done so well already. It's already an achievement in itself. So I think changing that mentality really did so much for me. Say if you've lost three pounds, that is someone's goal goal to lose and you've already lost it. So you need to really be your biggest fan. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and comment down in the description of your weight loss journey or what you're currently doing now to lose weight and I'll be replying to every single comment. And if you do want to get a shout out, follow my Instagram, give this video a massive thumbs up and DM me once you're done and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you so 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 much and I'm so grateful for every single one of you. We are now 9,700 strong. Can you you believe that? That is crazy to me. I'm speechless. But I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you. Bye guys.